How much do you think it costs to stay in this property? This is a nice property situated at Upper Changi Road East, developed by Sevens Group. It is an amazing property. So let's just go through why is it worth to pay $8.78 million to purchase such a beautiful property. So let's just see. Uh, so basically, it's a three-story semi-D with an attic, pool, and lift. So the land area is about 3,682 square feet, and the built-up is 79 Eight, eight square feet. So basically, a lot of viewers out there, they must be wondering, hey, 3,682 square feet for 8.78 million, I can get even in a better location, more central location. However, most lender buyers know that actually, if you're going to tear down and rebuild into such a beautiful property, right, with a total of seven bedrooms, a built total built up of 7,988 square feet, uh, the cost of it is is already there and, and not forgetting the years that, that is needed to develop such a property. So now this is already done and it's going to be uh, ready by Q3 2024. So very, very soon, you will be able to move into this property and, and call it your home almost immediately. So uh, location-wise, it's pretty near uh, Upper Changi MRT. Let's see, right, uh, if whether this property is something that you would be able to uh, enjoy and afford. Let's dive in into the numbers. So basically, 8.78 million. How much must you make to actually pay 75% loan of this? So basically, 75% of 8.78 million is 6.585 million. So your total mortgage, right, based on the current interest rate at the lowest at this current point is around 2.75%. And assuming that this is a young buyer, so you can loan up to 30 years, loan tenure, which means to say your mortgage should be $26,882.68. But however, to qualify for this, uh, let's just take a stress interest test rate. It varies from different banks of 4.8%. And assuming this buyer is earning a fixed income, how much? must somebody make in order to finance this house. So which means to say that you have to make a total of $62,816.75 per month fixed income to be able to get a total of $6.585 million in loan. So having said that, obviously, you need to have an initial capital outlay to actually purchase such a unit. So basically, $8.78 uh, The stamp duty alone is $466,400. So this one, you have to pay in cash first. Then if your CPF OA have enough, you'll be able to get a reimbursement by IRAS uh, towards the end of the completion. And then in terms of down payment-wise, you obviously have to pay 25% down, which is 5% will be cash and 20% will be cash or CPF. Let's just lump it together 25% right of this property of 8.78 million. That is 2.195 million for just the 25% down payment. And then obviously just slap it on top with the legal fee, which is let's just say 3,500 for such a quantum. So that is a total of $2,664,900. And then also you have to earn a total of 60 plus thousand in order to get a full 75% loan. However, if this is too messy for you, then you can just totally pay in cash. I'm just kidding. But if let's say you are able to, to finance uh, such a property, I believe that you know you are somebody that is looking out for a very comfortable home. You already did really well at work and you're probably very, very busy and you just want to enjoy, uh, you know, even have a multi-generational home where, you know, your your kids or your your kids' kids, everybody can stay together, which is amazing. So if you want to take a look at this property, do feel free to reach out to us and we'll be glad to show you around. My name is Aaron Leong. See you in the next video.